the time that I even thought about drumming or becoming a drummer, it was really my interests that grew from being a bass guitarist and joining my first band when I was like 11 years old. You know, it came from learn developing an understanding of the rhythm of songs and saying, oh, I can play the drums. Oh, why not, why not just go sit behind my drummer's kit back then? And next thing you know, I'm teaching myself. I took lessons for the bass guitar, but when it comes to the drums, I just listened, you know? And um, was there something that triggered you? Was there like a memory in your life? Like, oh, I, that guy really inspired me. Maybe I should try that. Neil Peart. If it happened to be one person that like definitely triggered, it was my introduction to the band Rush and seeing a DVD in my uncle's basement of all places where he was like, you have to watch this drummer because he knew I was into music. I saw Neil Peart and it blew my mind and I was like, I want to be that good. I mean, that specific drum solo by Neil, Neil Peart, when I first saw it, I couldn't understand how you could be playing the drums and by using electronic triggers at the same time, keep a beat and play a symphony orchestra with your cymbals. Who does that, first of all? <laughs> That's what I was thinking in my mind, and I go, people are doing this. This guy's doing this, why can't I? You know, why can't I aspire to be something that great? I got into music at a young age. Really, it was introduced to me by my mother. It wasn't until a couple years later that I uh, picked up a bass guitar, which was really my first instrument that I taught myself. And then um, the drums followed that after that. Uh, currently, I am playing for a band in Tempe, Arizona called Foreskin, F-O-U-R, Skin. We are kind of like a progressive rock slash heavy metal band, and uh, I was originally brought on with them as a bassist um, about two years ago. I became a drummer because we had drummers coming in and out for the, over the past year and a half or so. Two days before a show, a really big show that we had, our drummer bailed out because uh, he had his own bucket of issues that he had to deal with. So. I knew the whole set behind the drums because I knew it on the bass. I know the rhythm. I know what it's supposed to sound like. And I just told the guys, I said, hey, let's get someone to fill in on bass. I'll hop behind the drums and we'll give this show a go. When I get into the studio, I I'm an avid yoga enthusiast, so I lay out my mat, and the guys know when I put those headphones on for the first 20 minutes I'm in there, that's my quiet time. That's when I mentally and physically prepare myself for what I'm about to do. You just have to be prepared, be focused, and get your mind and body right. So that's personally how I do it. List everything out and make sure by the end of the day that we have progressed. realize after playing the drums for a little while when I first started really practicing especially with metal style drumming that it takes a lot out of you you know it, you exert a lot of energy when back there You know, this is, this is my position, this is where I belong, you know. I bring the energy, I keep everyone together. You know, I am the backbone of this band. My father, he's, uh, I think he's indifferent 
from to me being in this band like he doesn't really care but he doesn't want to see it become anything more than a hobby just because I'm not living my life the way that my dad wants me to live my life I don't think that's any reason to you know tell your son he's a he's a screw up you know more than anything I just want him to be proud of me you know my mom's no longer here and her big thing the thing that still like ties me into you know remembering her the one thing that always comes up when I think about my mom is music it hurts me knowing that the one th like the one parent you got left doesn't really support what you want to do with the rest of your life you know like it sucks I can't I can't live my life to make him happy. And you know, I appreciate everything he's done for me up until this point. But uh I just I got to I got to keep drumming. I got to keep on doing what makes me happy. Personally, I know as a band, uh, you know, one of the things that we're looking to get out of this performance is this is the kickoff to our tour. You know, we this is this is everything that we've been working for, all the time that we put in. This is the start. This is how we kick it off in Tempe, Arizona, ready to go before we take off to the West Coast. Ready, man. I'm freaking, I'm stoked. Mm -hmm. I'm stoked, and I know the rest of the guys are, and I know that we are going to, you know, we're having fun, we're doing what we love, and uh, we're about to go make a name for ourselves. I came into this band because the creativity that was coming from them when I first joined was, like, contagious. I wanted to play music and be able to bounce ideas off one another with a group of guys that have the same type of mentality. So I want people to hear what, what we're feeling. Even in this band that I'm in now, even though we're going on tour in a couple months, like money is not a thing. I'd be happy living on ends meat, you know, freaking living on ramen noodles as long as I get to go play music and just keep on perfecting my craft. Because, you know, what's music if it's not listened to by others? Mm -hmm.